Winning an investor can be as difficult as winning a girl's heart. You not only need to impress them with your project, you also have to show them your best human qualities. Remember, investors can put their money to work in many ways. You need to show them why the best place to put it is with you. But how? To get the answer, we went to the Founders Space Startup Pitch Day. Founders Space is a place you can listen to all the pitches, meet startup founders, and gain more experience. This guy works with hundreds of angel investors and venture capitalists all over the world. He's looking for some great startups to recommend to investors. Because we invited, you know, 60 or more startups coming here all wanting to make a pitch. Uh, you know, once, how do you get through that many startups? How do you figure out who's the winner? But it, it seemed to go very smoothly. Did a bunch of startups myself, three startups, and then I launched Founder Space, really to help startups all around the world. So, among more than 60 startups, only 23 will receive some type of prize. But only one will take first place, becoming the real winner. But what benefits do the winners of Startup Pitch Day actually receive? The winners, well first of all they get to pitch investors, they get practice pitching, but they also win our three month online startup program, so they're automatically enrolled in that. They also get featured on the Founder Space Network and sent out to all of our partners and investors. We also asked him about what kind of mistakes startups often make. So listen very carefully in order to avoid making the same errors. I advise startups to make every mistake possible, and, but the only mistake you can't make is not to learn from your mistakes. So you can go ahead and make mistakes, but when you are doing it, think, analyze everything you do. Learn from other startups, learn from incubators, learn from investors, always be reading and digesting information. The biggest mistake you can make is to think you know it all, to think you know it already, because I guarantee you don't. Another problem is that startup entrepreneurs often forget that investors are really not much different than the rest of us. The personal qualities of those they deal with are very important to them. The best way to pitch investors is to talk to them, not talk at them, not pitch them, but have a conversation. Investors don't want to be sold something, they just want to talk to you. Uh, you're a nice person, what are you doing, what are you passionate about, ask them questions, a dialogue. But that's not all investors look for. The yeah, most important thing is make sure you're not by yourself. Make sure you're working on a big market. Make sure that, uh, that whoever your customers might be, that they, are gonna, they want it. Big marketplace, talented team, have a team. Uh, show you're committed. Start getting traction. And if you could do all those things, there's a high probability that you could get uh, investors. Most entrepreneurs don't do those things. So I, you, know, you can't be a guru in everything. And so I'm, I'm looking at that. I'm looking at do they have a quality team? Is the market space very good? And then what's the idea? And if you ever really look at it, it's really what's the size of the TAM? What's the, uh, what's the team like? And what's the idea? Hmm, that was interesting. But which startups at the Startup Pitch Day were most suitable for these criteria? A lot of them were great. You know, the uh, Pro Mold Company was really amazing. You know, their, their new mold technique. Uh, Teller was another one I really liked. The Turbine Company, pretty amazing. And you know, the top six that were selected, I was excited about them all. And then there were some others that didn't get selected that I thought also had a lot of potential. We found some of the guys who made the pitches. Maybe one of them is going to win Startup Pitch Day. Or maybe not, but we'll get to that later. Our project is called Maker Pro Molds. It's a distributed manufacturing platform for people that are trying to manufacture plastic parts. So what that means is you have an idea of a plastic part, you put it on our website, and then you get multiple quotes from all of the different manufacturers. We do two things. We make it faster as well as we make it cheaper. Sounds good. But then the next guy's project sounds good too. It's called Bird's Nest a startup that helps freelancers find jobs. I am the co-founder of Bird Nest. We transform restaurants into co-working spaces. A lot of people, you know, if you're tired of coffee shops or couldn't really afford co-working spaces, we have the solution for you. What's really unique about us is we're solving a big white space, right? If you're a freelancer, we're entrepreneur, and you just want a space to focus, but 
better than your home with a little bit of white noise. Coffee shops are still not reliable. Co-working spaces cost $300 a month. Very, very expensive. Come to our space. You can pay by the hour, by the day. We have unlimited Wi-Fi and coffee for you, um, for you to enjoy. Last but not least, there's Teller. This startup is designed to help people forgotten by banks who may need small loans between paychecks in order to stay afloat financially. Teller is trying to solve, is trying to recreate financial services for the hourly wage workers. So 78 million people, or 59% of the US workforce, are hourly wage workers, and financial services have not been designed for them. And that's what we are trying to do. So we have a mobile application that actually allows employers of these hourly wage workers to provide daily cash incentives to them. And what that does is that improves in engagement, reduces attrition, and also helps them uh, earn some money between paychecks. Usually they, they, they need about $120 between paychecks, and this actually helps them bridge that gap. In short, all the projects seem interesting and useful. Who do you think won? Well, guess what? We're gonna tell you. It was Teller. Wow Tech Now congratulates the winner, and to the rest we say, never surrender. Don't give up. Your time will come, and we hope that our advice helps that happen. Hi, this is Akshay Krishnaya. My name's Nick. Derek Blankenship. Isaac Babb. Steve Hoffman. And this is for Wow Tech Now. So stay tuned by subscribing, and don't forget, hit the like button if you like this one. See you soon. Yeah.